so today's topic is quite like uh, electronic power steering so the thing is uh, every cars or maybe every all the automotive should have the steering unit without the steering unit you cannot uh, target or you cannot reach your um, destination with the automotive functions in the earlier cases the steerings are done by the purely mechanical so still you can see this steering like um, especially more the alto 800 or some other older vehicles the steering will be much heavier while you are turning and uh, later the technology is growing some automakers will start to use the steering with the hydraulic pump that means a belt will be connected to the engine every time this uh, belt drives some amount of uh, engine torque and it will give to the steering so that the steering will be bit free while the engine is running this is called as an hydraulic power steering since the world are strengthen the co2 emissions and with respect to fuel efficiency with respect to other uh, comfort like uh, lane keeping and automotive parking these functions are will un- not able to do by the hydraulic steering so the automotive market is slowly started to switching to the electronic power steering in the year of 2005 and later there are we have so many kind of power steering type and for the things we will have some introduction about that so in the slide we can see what are all the topics i'm going to cover in the briefs during the rest of the sessions so let's make go to the introduction the steering is a kind of a unit which contains software hardware and maybe some electronic components which make this driver's effort is very low and make the car is running in uh, moving in the very uh, turning in the very faster way or in the safer way so because we are going to using this electronic power steering in the mileage of the car has increased from 0 to 10% since we are not using any power from the engine directly this is the main reason also to increase the power and mileage other related stuff so the main art of the main function is it will be based on the driver's input torque and uh, the steering will be ro- functioning so here are this is sample uh, diagram how it will work. so then the thing is uh, all the modern cars are going to use this power steering and uh, yes in i mentioned in the slide the fuel efficiency is improved from 0 to 10% we, because we are using the power steering with electric mot- motor we are not going to drain any power from the engine directly in my next slide this is the typical components of the electronic power steering you can see the steering wheel is basically you can see visible to all the cars you can see in the front seat left and right based on the countries and after that if you go to the inside the parts are will be like this um, torque sensor it will be directly behind your uh, board nut and then small electronic control unit this control unit like a master or the key component for the whole mechanical function of this and here you can see this an uh, motor basically this motor is an uh, bl dc motor brushless dc motor of course we can able to use brush motors also uh, since during uh, br- uh, if you are using brush motors and the noise or vibrations bit some high and the life of the brush motors and the maintenance is bit costly so the market is moved to brushless dc motor that's the only thing so how it will work means if you are trying to rotate the torque the torque sensor will measure uh, how much angle or something the driver is uh, rotated so in the ecu will calculate the ecu will calculate uh, how much amount of uh, motor torque needed based on the input torque of the driver and it will be given to this motor then this motor is rotating this uh, uh, tri- uh, rod or steering rod basically the technical name yeah? then this is connected to this uh, steering rack this is the typical steering rack all the components are mechanical here this is the rotational movement with the help of the bearing and other related stuff here it will move as a linear movement that means left or right so this is like just basic introductions and we have still so many technical concepts like how the steering sensors what kind of maximum and minimum and where we have to place the motor we can even place the motors in the rack also and other mechanical details are will be followed in uh, if you have a deep technical sections yeah so one of the major recent trends in this electronic power steering is people you may all aware this there will be in google or somewhere also in the all the oems are now concentrating in two major uh, tech, tech generations one is called electric vehicle people you may aware of tesla they are the leading provider of the electric vehicle that means without combustion engine the vehicle will move with the help of motor and battery the next one we can say as an autonomous driving 
Dynamous driving is something like a concept. Uh, we no need to uh, drive the car. You just need to enter the car. You have to enter the destinations. The car will take you to the destinations. That means all the driver functions has to be taken care by the car computer algorithm. This is the major OEMs approaching in the near futures. With respect to the steering, we are also have some support for that. The major next generation phase of the steerings are called as a state by wire and then fail operational steering. But state by wire means here you can see so many mechanical component I have used or the system is using to do steer the vehicle. In future cars, this mechanical component will be completely removed. There will be only one sensor will be placed over here and two different motors will be placed near to the wheel. So based on the input, uh, something then it has to be rotated. Since the torque sensor is directly connected to the steering and you don't need to invoke every time the torque with the steering and uh, with the help of the ECU from other vehicle component also we can invoke the steering that is called as a steer by wire. And the next technical name is in the next generation of steering is fail operational. Suppose if any unit is failed in any of your electronic devices, especially not only in the automotive or anything, in these electronic devices will not be used after that until you have to repair or until you have to change. But with respect to the steering, because it's the most safety critical unit, if something got failed inside the steering unit, especially in the part of here or in the motor or in the torque sensor or wherever it is, I'm talking about only electrical failures, not respect to the mechanical breakage or something like that. Even though failures are happened, we have some redundant and we have some reusability concepts because of that, whatever the extent of the failure, still the car can, the power steering system will work. That is called as a fail operational steering. That means even though failure, the steering needs to be operate with 100%, no, no reduced functionalities. These are all the recent trends and all the automotives are trying to reach this in the near future and uh, should be able to do this. This is a site in this uh, steer by wire. In the previous slide, you can see this, uh, the mechanical parts are no matter, no matter it has been connected and uh, you can see like steering sensor and with the steering sensor, there will be an ECU and then um, this will make the movement of the tires. And you can see something like that um, response actuator or whatever it is. In 2014, uh, one of the Japanese OEM uh, come with this concept like steer by wire, but people give the very bad response. In the steer by wire, you cannot feel this vibration. Sometimes based on the road surface, the tires will vibrate. If you have the mechanical linkage, there's some amount of vibration will come back to the steering and the driver have some feel or grip over there. But since in the steer by wire, we do not have any mechanical um, linkage so every time a driver do not feel the road surface or whatever it is this makes driver really um, it, it's it's one way it's good and other way it's really make me too boring it's how how you like uh, like to like you feel with the manual transmission car and if you are driving with auto <laughs> auto transmission in auto transmission uh, you sometimes so won't get that feel of driving so since of that this uh, bad reviews or whatever, and then um, that OEM is uh, stopped. Maybe you can, I forgot. So I, in this in the Google, maybe you can search that. I will uh, give the link. And, but still now again, it's coming to the active because uh, they are reducing the cost of the vehicle protection because of removing the mechanical parts and other related stuff. And also we can, if we remove this, uh, we don't need to use so many vehicle uh, space over here with these mechanicals. This is a simple example of the state by wire concepts. And as I said, it's a uh, fail operational steerings. So what is the fail operational mechanism is just like a redundant mechanism. So in, in, in electronics or whatever it is, there is a much possibility to occur a failure. And there is a much less possibility to occur the failure for the second unit also. That means there is a possibility to occur steering torque sensor one failure at any time. But there are limited possibility to occur both sensor failure in the time. This is, it's not limited means it's like uh, we can make sure or we can uh, minimum or we can minimize two, two component will not be break at a time of, uh, at the same time. It's uh, in the fault analysis or FMEA, we can see like two point failure or whatever it is. So, but in theoretically as same, like uh, we are using two torque sensors. So that means one torque is failed. Even we can go with others and you can see 
two batteries, two CAN communications, and two motor winding group and two motor drivers. So that means in maximum cases, one unit is even completely failed. We can still able to make the 100% performance with other unit in either of the cases. This is, this is what major OEMs are approaching and in 2020, some OEMs are even released with this product. And in Japan, Honda is going to deliver their new car with this unit in their basic of Olympic inauguration. The state of the art of the EPS, what we can see is automotive are, are well aware about the steering and how the steering needs to work and all the mechanical formulas, everything. But in the main art or whatever in the recent trends of the automotive, the steering is like the software. The software and the unit called ECU, the previous slide maybe you can see, this is the ECU. This ECU contains a piece of amount of code. It has been developed in the older time with embedded C languages. Recently, we are developing these codes with the MATLAB. So the main brain of the complete steering functionality is this is ECU software. So this is the state of the art. So major uh, working operations and major the decisions or major whatever it is, it has to be taken care of by this uh, electronic power steering software systems. So since it's coming to the software, all the software development life cycles like um, V model, or whatever the models, requirement review, unit testing, integration testings, all has to be involved in this EPS domain. This is with respect to the software and the state of the art of the EPS. And since it's a EPS, uh, I mean uh, software, this software can be invoked from any of the other external devices. There it comes like automotive, automatic parking and lane keeping assistance and uh, whatever it is, that means some other ECU will detect something and it will ask steering ECU to steer or stop or whatever. To do all this stuff, we need this uh, software. So these softwares are uh, basically developed in, um, as I mentioned, embedded C and uh, MATLAB. And you can see like base, the software itself, we can classify as many things like application software, that's the, that will do the actual functionalities and base software. Base software will take care about the motor driver, how the motor needs to rotate or other thing, how the steering tool sensor needs to work and whatever it is. And communication software is like how the communication needs to happen between the other ECUs and other functions of the car. These are all the inner classification of the software development and maybe subclasses. There are many technology chains are working in this electronic power steering domains. With respect to that, Few of them are major stakeholders in the complete electronic power steering domains. You may are aware that Bosch, Bosch have many divisions and other related stuff, and EZF, and then Hella. The Bosch, EZF, Hella, all are German tech chains. They are purely based on German manufacturers. Next, Steer from US, Denso from Japan, and JTEC from Japan, Hitachi from Japan, and NSK. They are not only delivering this uh, software and uh, whatever they are delivering, they are together delivered with the software plus hardware because that will have much amount of freedom to design because they can uh, alter some functions in the software, alter some functions in the hardware. So the tech giants are providing complete uh, software plus hardware solutions, software plus hardware solutions. Uh, and so that the names are repeated again uh, here also in hardware providers. These are all the major suppliers in the EPS power steering uh, right now.